We've all heard about quiet quitting. We've all heard about it, where people uh, are wanting to get act their wage, right? They're wanting to do only the work that is really required of them with their pay scale, and they don't want to do much more. Um, it's really a way of bringing workplace balance into people's lives. And really, quiet quitting is really not a negative. Quiet quitting is really helping people decide, set boundaries, and make decisions about what they can and can't do at work. It's, it's, it's there. Then we have right now with this recession and with all of the layoffs, we've got quiet firing only. People are being quiet with the firing. I mean, Elon Musk just announced how many people he was laying off. Amazon is announcing their layoffs. They're not being quiet about it. But right now, with the fear of recession and interest rates rising, companies right now are scaling back. And so many of those new hires that they just brought in last year, they're letting them go and then some. So now we're starting to look at mm, quiet quitting may not be as popular because people are starting to worry that they may be the first ones to be let go. Maybe because they're not putting a lot of energy and excitement into their work. I'm not here to judge. But now we have a third one on the horizon. With all of this uh, quiet firing and quiet quitting, we've now got quiet hiring. And quiet hiring is really interesting because it's using the people that we already have at work and upskilling them, asking people if they would like to work or actually telling people that they need to learn some new skills and maybe move their position. It's not really a raise or a promotion. It's just taking people and giving them new skills so that they can begin to do the work that they were going to hire people to do and they aren't going to hire anymore. So we start to think about all of these quiets that are going on, from quiet quitting to quiet firing to quiet hiring, and we start to look at work a little bit differently. The pendulum is now swinging, and people are going to have to make decisions. They're going to have to make decisions in this quiet hiring. Um, do they want to take on more? Do they want to put the energy into learning more? And some people will do this because they'll see a career path and a career growth. But don't be fooled. Not everybody's going to jump at this. Some of those quiet quitters are actually not wanting a promotion right now, not wanting to move up. They like where they are with their job and they really want to stay there. So we've got a lot to think about right now. We're thinking about how we hire, who we hire, and how long we're going to stay. So I'm not sure how long these quiet trends are going to last, but for each of us, we need to navigate it carefully. We need to make the decisions. We need to take the opportunities that we want, grow our career, and put more time into enjoying our lives. Thanks, everybody.